one thing I never quite trusted with Dwarf Fortress is people said, oh, the, every fort ends when you get bored. And like, I was like, you know, I like my Sim City cities and like, I, I never liked abandoning stuff, but I'm kind of feeling, kind of feeling that now. So this is Sludge Fort. It rains horrible pee water all of the time forever. And that's just all it does here. And um, <coughs> recently the FPS in P Fort has kind of gotten bad. It's only, it's, I recently ran the clean all command to see if it would fix my FPS. It did not at all. So, <coughs> it's normally just complete yellow pea color out here. So I made a little hut to protect my doors from the pea water. And, um, there's a little river here that it freezes, um, in the winter here. So I kind of capped off the river so I could control it just because, you know, it felt like a dwarfy thing to do. So, <laughs> I made a little underground tree farm, and I had a lot of fun in this fort. But, um, I've been getting, the FPS was kind of hovering around the 30 to 40, and lately it's been going down in the, the, kind of the, the, um, the 15s to 10s. And, oh wait, let me turn off Fast Dwarf real quick. I've been using this thing called DF Hack, and I've been using Fast Dwarf just because it makes the game kind of playable, even at low SPF. But, um, I, there's a very special occasion in every Dwarf Fortress fortress that lives for too long and the FPS starts getting too bad. Um, there's a circus full of clowns at the very bottom of the world, and it's just a nice place to have fun at. Um, so, what I decided to do, here's my burial hall. This is, well, I guess I'll show you a little tour of my fort. So this is kind of the stockpile floor. It's got, we got some animals. I killed all the animals to see if it would help the FPS. It did not. Uh, there's a nice, there's a d village, uh, uh, <coughs> there's a savage elven area here that has, in savage areas you have like giant animals and stuff, so I've been stealing giant animals from these stupid elves, and that's been cool, but, um, <coughs> yeah, so this is kind of the, this is the tavern, and like, this is the inn over here, oops, okay, so this is, this is my kind of, uh, library, which they didn't make as many books. Let's see how many books the idiots have made. Eh, made about a dozen or so. I guess it doesn't, like, Book of the Mountain Hall. What's, what's this? Description. <laughs> this is a well-crafted rope reed scroll. It's made from rope reed cloth. The rollers are made from native platinum. Fancy boys! The rollers are made from granite. Wait, what do you mean? They're made from two things? <coughs> huh. Written on the item is an essay titled Book of the Mountain Halls, authored by Av Avuz Gryffindor. That's, that's, I'm sorry, but that, that is a Harry Potter. That's a Harry Potter, right? I know my Harry Potters. I was a teen. I was a teen once. Anyway, it concerns the settling of the dwarf Avuz Gryffindor in Stockdond, which is the, the name of my fort, because I didn't rename it, in the mid-autumn of 33. The writing is a very serious tone. Overall, the prose is not awful. See, all my dwarves write not particularly awful, but not particularly good books. Like, Mastering of Mountain Home. This has got to be good. It has the word mastering in it, so, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still... Allergies have been destroying my entire life, so. So well-crafted warthog parchment choir. What in Sam hails a warthog? Written on the item is an essay titled Mastering the Mountain Halls, authored by Throb Brass Strikes. That's, that's like a, that's a dwarven poor name if I've ever heard one. Yeah, my name is Thwar, Throb. Oh, it's Thob, not Throb. Okay, but, but Brass Strikes is still a dwarven poor name. I thought he was named Throb for a second. Anyway, it concerns the start of blank as a scholar of the th Throb. B it, blank in Sokdon. And this is, some characters just don't have names apparently. So this is just an unnamed figure and he just leaves the name blank. <laughs> the writing's quite cheerful. Overall, the provost is amateurish at best. Harsh. Yeah, my guys kind of suck, and I, my next four, I kind of, my plan was to make just a bunch of libraries and be all fancy, and then want to make glass, but this is kind of what, this is my dwarven bedrooms that I did. It turns out making these individual little bedrooms is actually worse, because, like, you just make a big old dormitory and they're all actually happier, but I'll explain that later. I still want to stream Dwarf Fortress and, like, do, like, an introductory stream at some point to explain all this stuff, but not while, 
excuse me, not while that's happening. Let's put it that way. And this is my temple. These are all the little dwarves praying to their gods, which they should be. This is a very good time to pray to your dwarven gods. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, though. This is another stockpile thing. This is kind of my original floor with, with the all of the workshops. These are all the little workshops here on the right. <coughs> this was my kitchen. There's some stink. If you butcher stuff, it makes stink sometimes, which is why the, the butchers are isolated, because they're stinky. Oh, and this is another cloud of stink. This is my, uh, <laughs> there's a whole lot of stuff shoved in here. This is my dumping zone. And this is my hospital. Nobody's in there right now. Um, there might be a lot of people in there soon. Or there might not be, who knows. Um, this is kind of some more rooms. This is my jail over here. A funny thing, is that dog in jail? Why is that dog in jail? I think he's just chilling out. He's incredibly skinny, his hair is dark brown, his ears are buff. So this is, this game just has descriptions for everything. I, I, I think The Door Fortress is kind of a game for people that prefer to read than like watch a movie. It, it, it lets your imagination fill in a lot of stuff. So this is another residential floor, another residential floor. This is my, um, <coughs> this is kind of my military training place. These are all the bolts they used to train with. Um, the military guys aren't there, you might notice. Um, there's a reason for that. See, this is my burial hall. My idea was I was gonna make, like, this big memorial hall. <coughs> like, this is a detailed siltstone floor. It's an image of Gened Skunkhated, the Forgotten Beast. So this is, I, I made these as, like, I was gonna engrave and make statues to all the Forgotten Beasts and stuff uh, that I killed. These are, like, these strange creatures that happen in this game. Um, and I went and underground and I killed a bunch of them. And this is my little arena. They updated the game's stress system so that seeing dead sentient corpses like completely destroys dwarves mentally, like permanently. So I can't use the arena, unfortunately. Like if they see a goblin die, they're like traumatized for their entire life. In fact, let me, oh, I, I don't know who would be traumatized, but there's some dwarves that have had, like their lives were destroyed. Um, <laughs> it's badly distracted after being away from friends. Yeah, I don't know. So there's there's a few of my dwarves that have just line after line of horrified, horrified after seeing bodies, horrified, blah, blah, blah. I, I can't find... Oh, oops. I can't, um... I don't know which one. Maybe, maybe, actually, it'd probably be one of my military dwarves. But we'll see those in just a second. So yeah, this is just kind of... Just a big place full of stone that I dug out. Uh, this is my engraving practice zone. So I just let them engrave stuff. So like, this is... And it's actually designed image of Mistum Saber Spear. <laughs> he is surrounded by dwarves. This is relates to the appointment of the dwarf to the chief medical dwarf. Okay, cool. So the dwarves like to make images of stuff. So this is the cavern layer, which is like these are like natural. It's less natural now because I've been digging into it, but like naturally formed things full of nasties. But there's other nasties, even more nasty than what is in the cavern. <laughs> also, I tried walling off and using um, reveal flood and DF hack to like un... Oops, what is that? Is that a cat? Oh, that's just a chick. Okay, that can die in there. This is... I kind of walled this off. You know, I'll save... I'll save the chick. I'll, I'll have a heart. He won't... He probably won't live for very long anyway. Um, this is another cavern layer. I accidentally walled in that chicken. It's, it's a it's delicious wall chicken. You, you always wondered how wall chickens end up in Castlevania. This is how. Because of digging accidents. So this is the third cavern layer. And a little bit below this one, there is a wonderful place. Actually, it's a lot under this one. Uh, there we go. There's a wonderful place um, with lots of magma. And um, this is where the dwarves use magma for like magma forges and they build lots of cool stuff down here. But there's also this thing called candy or admantine. Raw Edmantine, and um, if you dig into there, there's a circus. So Dwarf Fortress spoilers, I guess. But all the way down here, look at all those little ampersands. All the way down here, there's a beautiful little circus where there's lots of spooky, eerie, glowing pits. Oh, let me read you the announcements. You've discovered an eerie cavern, the air above. The dark stone floor is alive with vortices of purple light and dark, boiling clouds. Seemingly bottomless pits. Glowing pits mark the surface. Horrifying screams come from the darkness below. <laughs> Inappropriate dig square. It is now summer. <laughs> the great thing is, immediately after I breached the cavern, the game auto-saved. 
So, <laughs> if this goes bad, the fort is just doomed. So, <laughs> I can't even save Skull. <laughs> like, it, immediately after, um, I didn't even know it was that close to summer, but immediately after I bro breached hell and made demons fly out, uh, the game I was saved. I didn't even plan for that or anything. And then the rhesus macaque reverted to a wild state, which is equally, you know, horrifying. Um, so let's take a look at some of the clowns here. These are, these are the demons. A boiling hot. A great mongoose composed of steam. It has an enormous shell and a bloated body. So these are demons are kind of like forgotten beasts. They're kind of randomly generated. A great scarab composed of steam. There's a lot of steam. It has a short trunk and it squirms and fidgets. I love the descriptions of the forgotten beasts and stuff. That's really a big part of what got me into the game, actually. Boiling haunt. I seem to have a lot of these boily boys. What's the purple one? Ankylosaurid for fiend! A towering three-eyed ankylosaurid. It has thin wings of stretched skin and is ravening. Its fuchsia scales are round and overlapping. Beware its poisonous bite. So what happens when you breach the circus is that all of these demons try to fly up. When you breach an adamantine vein, there's like a hollow center. It's like a gusher of chewy adamantine and inside is demons that squirt out into your mouth like boiling lava to kill your face. And uh, so I bit into the gusher because I was getting bored of this fort because mostly just because of the FPS honestly. Um, and I can't <laughs> I can't kill I was trying to kill the goblins and they have a clown of their own. And, um, so yeah, I kind of locked in my military dwarves. What I did for protection is, um, oh god, did I make this out of wood? Oh no, it's siltstone, good. I think, I think they are in fact walled in here. I think they can't get out of here. I could be entirely wrong. But I basically, um, walled my military in here with the demons. And they're gonna have a real fun time now. Um... You guys might want to start killing. I put a lot of door- I forgot to lock the doors, actually. I don't even- I think they just- I don't know how fast- I put the doors in to slow down the demons. I don't even know if doors slow demons to any- with any, like, appreciable effect. But I forgot to lock them, so it doesn't even matter anyway. So yeah, I'm just ordering these guys to all go kill them. I have some pretty good dwarves. The flashing ones are legendary. Like, in- they have a legendary skill. So a lot of these guys are pretty good. Um, but they could still all die, so I'm gonna unpause the game. And some of them, half of them are asleep. So that's gonna end real well, because I had to... <coughs> this took a lot longer than I thought it would, um, to, to set up, so a, a lot of my dwarves are kind of asleep. But let's see if there's anything... Okay, no, there's no combat reports yet. But yeah, I'm gonna... They're, they're, they're all going there. They're all going... Oh boy, this is gonna end real bad. So they're fighting, they're fighting! Okay, the, the red stuff is blood. And there's some, okay, there's some bones. The little twos, the exponential twos are bones. I already see dead dwarves. They're, they're pushing them back. They're pushing them back. Oh, the splatter. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I don't think this is going very well, actually. <laughs> Seven FPS. This is kind of why I walled it off. This is why I kind of did this. And <laughs> them are asleep. Okay, so I'm gonna start reading the combat log. The combat log gets extremely gruesome. So if you're squeamish, you might not want to read. Oh, look at all of that stuff. All right, let's start with the beginning. Axe Lord Feb Ivan Logem is fighting. Let's go with the very first one here. No recent announcement. Okay, there's so much fighting. There's so much fighting, the game doesn't can't keep track of all of it. <coughs> the Ankylosaurid Fiend grabs the Daxorf by the right upper leg with his right wing. I, I don't know how that works, but... Uh, yeah, <laughs> the Axe Dwarf is caught in a cloud of steam. The Ankylosaurid Fiend... Fiend locks the Axwar's right hip with the Ankylosaurid's Fiend's right wing. This guy's has got a prehensile wing. The Axwar misses the Ak Ankylosaurid Fiend. The Axwar falls over. The Axwar gets into pain. Yeah, he's gonna be. Oh, oh. Ankylosaurid Fiend releases the grip of the Fiend's left wing on his second finger, left hand. He's just like grabbing that little finger. Bursts of steam, bursts of steam. The Axwar is caught in. A, he keeps getting caught in these bursts of steam. I think that's from all of the steam friends. Uh, this is what happens when you send steam friend requests t to people that don't want to be your friend. They get caught in bursts of steam and they die horribly, so please don't do that. The Ash Haunt punches the Axe Dwarf in the head with her right hand and the injured part explodes into gore! An artery has been opened by the attack. <laughs> he has been found dead. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, that does tend to kill people. <laughs> Carl, that kills people! So that's one dwarf down. The Spectre of Steam. I wonder if they've killed any of these. The Spectre of Steam falls over. All right, Spectre, Mrs. Okay. <coughs> Cotton, a cloud burst, lots of steam. The militia commander bashes the Spectre of Steam in the right in the left third foot. Third foot? The left third foot. How many feet does this thing have? With her steel crossbow. That is not how you use crossbows. Oh my god. This is, okay, Mark's dwarves are full of bugs and are just complete idiots, and they consider <coughs> their crossbows to be axes sometimes, so they just go up and be like, hey, I'm gonna axe you, bow, and they just hit them with the crossbow instead of shooting bolts. Um, so I was kind of hopeful that my Mark's dwarves would, like, shoot the steam beasts and they would, like, dissipate because they're steam and steam is fragile, um, but no, they just wanted to be, like, hit him with an axe, but the axe is the crossbow. Oh my god. Well, shut my mouth. The, she bashes the Spectre of Steam in the left third foot. The wrestler bashes the Spectre of Steam in the head with her steel crossbow, breaking away most of the tissue. The force twists the neck, and the severed part sails off in an arc. She just bashed this thing's head off with her crossbow. She doesn't need, she doesn't need bolts. <laughs> oh my god. The sad thing is, some of this probably happened in like these old- oh wait, here we go, oh, dead. <laughs> head- punches in head- oh, I think we've read that one. Axlord's left- lower left arm skids along the ground but it's deflected into the Axlord's left gauntlet. Oh, dead. Bites the Axlord in the head and the Sanford part sails on an arc! Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, most of these guys are probably dead. Let's check out the Glazer. Glazer Monum. Glazer punches the Ankylosaurid fiend in the right rear leg with her right hand, bruising the muscle. Death, this cannot horrify me. I think it's okay to be horrified, honestly. I cannot just stand by, this might require an answer. I love how they talk sometimes. Like the demons of hell just rushed out of a freaking adamantine gusher, and his friends are dying left and right. And, sh <laughs> and she's like, I've been wounded. It's annoying. Death. This is truly horrifying. <laughs> the axe dwarf kicks the ankylosaurian fiend in the head with her left foot, bruising the muscle. <laughs> what? You're an axe dwarf. Use your axe. She <laughs> the, the dwarves are ridiculous. She's fighting like a giant dinosaur made of steam. She's got an axe. I gave them all steel axes. They have nice they have nice gear. And they're just like, I'm gonna kick this thing in the head. Screw this thing, I'm a dwarf. And they're, they're ridiculous. The peasants. <laughs> Poor peasants. This is gonna end well. The peasant. Ah. Oh. You know, it's best to read from the uh, position of the, the monster. Because then if you get a death blow, you, you always hear, see the death blow. The Anglosaurid Fiend grabs the Mark Dwarf by the giant mongoose leather shield with her with his left rear leg. The, they, every limb is a grappling limb in Dwarf Fortress, basically. So you can like grapple people by the back teeth with your left foot, and it's strange. It's like the most violent game of Twister. The Anglosaurid Fiend places the chokehold on the Dax Dwarf's throat with its left front leg. I mean, it's like a dinosaur, so it only has legs, so I guess that makes sense. <coughs> yeah, just strangled that poor bastard to death. Uh, Ankylosaurid Fiend strikes at the Scholar, but the shot is blocked by the Iron Shield! Heck yeah! Um, Ankylosaurid Fiend grabs, releases... <coughs> strikes it in the right front foot with his Iron Shield, bruising the muscle! Okay, this, this didn't go well for anyone. I think they killed at least one. Let's see, let's see the death list. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit, they killed like... What is this? <coughs> they killed nine. I don't know how many of these died before... Like, I think we're... I think we're propelling them back with even numbers. But... Yeah, let's take a look at the scene here. So, some of these guys are stunned. This is the miner. This is the this this poor guy. I think is the miner. See these f these filled in these like full outlines. This means they're like 
like military dwarves. Um, but this guy is just an engraver. He's the guy that I sent in to like cap, like bop the gusher, basically. Is there, uh, is this, oh, I can't, this is all, oh. So, not all of the demons path into your fort. And so I think some of them might just chill down there, but the ones that are up here already are definitely, yeah. Uh, are, are, hold on, are, are, why are you not, why, why are you not active? Kill the things. Just, just, just kill the things. All right, actually, I think maybe just a move. <coughs> Wait, what? Just move here and just 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 kill just kill that's all you got to do is kill okay your, your dwarves you got stuff look at this glorious three FPS action <laughs> it's calculating all of the fighting and stuff at once and I I hope they're fighting I I can't tell if they're fighting or just like being slaughtered would you idiots wake up can you imagine sleeping through like your friends are being boiled alive in steam and you're just like, oh, you're gonna take a nap now. Kill, <coughs> kill that one. No, kill, hold on, kill that. You guys kill that. <coughs> I don't know if it's really necessary to like, I've never fought a thing like this really. I can't believe the shooty pew pew boys. Oh my God, there's like four of them on that one tile. I think, I think I was actually lucky that a lot of these are made out of steam. It does give them like a deadly steam attack, but it also means like steam, <coughs> steam is like weak, like it's not substantial. So it makes them easier to like tear apart. And these ash haunts are probably <coughs> easier to tear apart too. <coughs> See the little, the little dwarf with the blood around his tile. That's, he's dead. Um, I think a f quite a few of them are still alive and like trying to fight. But like I said, the interesting thing is oh, one of them's finally firing a thing. I think, I think they killed the things. I think they're, I think, I think they're actually doing okay. Ember's Banshee. All right. I'm, I'm just gonna keep telling them. I don't know if telling them to kill, like, actually is meaningful in this context, but, oh, Axum Rangers is down to one. Axum Rangers are pretty dead. I'm sorry if anybody likes, likes, um, Mario RPG, but they're all dead now. Well, one of them, Axum, Axum Red, he, he comes in in the final phase and he's like super strong. Pew pew. Right, I'm not even gonna give an order to Axe and Branches. I don't think it's worth it at that point. All right, let's watch them go. So as the <coughs> as it clears the kill orders in the top right, that means the thing actually died. So oh, the guys woke up. The guys woke up. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. There's one. This is there only one left. So there's a lot of status icons and stuff, but it's too much for me to explain while while they're trying to just kill everything in existence. Let's let's take a look at the carnage, shall we? <coughs> Wait, what? Oh no, that's okay. <coughs> this is a Rolver Shem in Rush's tooth. 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 A pool of snake twinkled's blood. A spattering of Ryzen Doris Lance's blood. A spattering of Ankylosauride demon. Let's let's stretch this out a bit. Feed goo! It's got goo for blood. See, this is why I love the generate creature. Some of them have like goo or ichor for blood. There's <laughs> there's rice and ulcabulchablubs mutilated corpse, so he was he was a fine dwarf, and now he is he is kill. There's his head! Rest in pieces, literally. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, oh. <laughs> ash hot neck ash. We kicked him in the ash. A pool of goo. I love that they're, they're full of goo. A dusting of ash. <laughs> so much blood, a pile of ash. 
Now, there's the, all of the equipment that the guys dropped when they died. So I'm just gonna let, oh, look at him shoot those bolts. This is like the only one that is shooting bolts. Did he just like shoot his friend in the back of the head? This is my fight too. There is no need to feel vengeful. He's just talking to himself. He's like every, all of his friends are being beaten into pieces. And he's just like, I have a part in this. I am Batman. I cannot stand by. Like, just just kill. Just kill things. The cop the copper bolt misses. You idiot. Anglosword Fiend grabs the stone worker by the third finger left hand. Anglosword releases grip. He grabs the stone worker by the trousers! Ew! Oh! He's getting frisky! Oh, it releases the grip. Oh, let's see some. The Anglosword Fiend is no longer enraged. Releases the grip. There's just too much to read. The boiling haunt kicks the stone worker in the head, but the attack is deflected. Oh yeah! Wait, what? Why are you wearing cave spider silk hood? You're supposed to be wearing armor. Oh my god. They weren't wearing their armor. Oh wait, they they got their iron shield. Why were they not wearing their shit? Wait, maybe that was one of my Mark stores. I think the Mark stores just wear leather garbage. Wait, actually, I think they wear their armor. Oh, oh yeah, so I think they wear their armor over their clothes. So I think I think that's fine. Let's check the the dead list again. Oh, we got we've killed like twenty of them now. Spectre of Steam. I think we've lost at least as many. I I think we have lost more than they have. But I think there were less of them. So I think. I think they've stopped flooding in, which is kind of scary because that means that there's this many. Oh, wait. Oh, where'd they go? Huh. How do we even get down there? <laughs> it's like. You can actually. Once you've killed the swarm that comes up, um, if you successfully do so, which most people do not, um, I think everybody's dead. Okay, there's there's four guys left in the Axon police. Oh wait, no, everybody actually not everybody, obviously, but some people are fine. <coughs> there's zero the Axon Rangers are all dead. I'm sorry, you have to stop writing that fanfic now. Uh the shooty boy, why why is that shooty boy the lone shooty boy that is alive is not acting? Kill the boiling hot, because that seem those seem really easy. <coughs> this asshole Oh, he woke up! He woke up! What, what is your problem? Let's see what one of the dwarves think, if there are any alive. So you can check the game, the dwarves' thoughts in this game. <coughs> is anybody alive? Not many are alive. Um, this, I think it might just be these threes guys. Threes guys. This is another one. <coughs> I have a part in this. This might require an answer. She feels vengeful. She feels triple vengeful. <coughs> She was annoyed upon sleeping on a rough cave floor. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to sleep on the floor while all of your friends were being horribly murdered. Oh no! You poor baby. Anklosaurid fiend. Its left leg is cut open. Its right leg is... Uh, all of its feet are cut open. It's not dead though. <coughs> its upper spine is fractured. Its throat is dented. Ugh. Boiling hot. Her left front leg is gone. Her right front paw is gone. It's a mongoose. I just noticed this is a mongoose made out of steam. Wow. Right leg is gone. Tail gone. Gone, gone, gone. His teeth is gone. So they're not in good shape. But <coughs> I think most... Let's see how many military dwarves. I sent all of them in here. Okay, so I have, I have nine people left alive. I don't think all of them... I think some of them left to sleep, unfortunately. So I think these three guys might be it. But all things considered, <coughs> this went better than I expected. I say as there's like a pile of dead dwarves. Let me zoom in a bit, actually. Should have zoomed in earlier, but... I, I kind of like that zoom out, because like it had the whole map in like one window. Okay, uh, yeah, there's... Okay, there's no way we, we're living. But the cool news is... <coughs> I think everybody's dead. Yeah, I think... I think... Yeah, I think they're all dead. Um... Yeah, let's just cancel those orders. Yeah. <laughs> the cool thing, though, is... How many dwarves do I even have? Um, a lot less now. I think I just lost, like, 
65 people, but I still have over 100 citizens. So what I can do... How many nobles just died, by the way? I think, yeah, I had some... Uh, probably having my chief medical dwarf in the military wasn't my finest plan, but that wasn't really intentional. Um, <coughs> what I can do is I can train up more squads. These ankylosauride fiends, I think, are the only tough ones. Did, did we kill any ankylosaurs? Oh, we killed, like... We killed a lot. Oh, they have names. Why do they have names? Why do they have names? There's only three... Are you kidding? There's only, um... There's only six of them left. And I think these fox brutes, yeah, these fox brutes, I think they're just chilling out. <clears throat> so when you breach hell, a bunch of demons spawn and like rush into your fort. And um, <clears throat> the rest actually just basically act like animals and they just wander around in hell and they just like have a good time. Um, but the interesting thing is I can just, I, I walled them off. So I can just, my, the rest of my dwarves, they will panic because all of their friends freaking died. But assuming I can survive the tantrum spiral that will almost certainly happen now, I can train up a bunch of new dwarves, um, make a second way of walling these clowns off, and um, <coughs> send in a new squad for vengeance and death. Also, it says I'm getting 24 FPS, and that feels like a complete lie. Oh, well, actually, never mind. They're just not moving very much. Uh, that... I hate to say it, but that actually improved my FPS a lot. <laughs> <coughs> that was half laugh, half cough. It's not a fun experience, but that kind of fixed my FPS a bit. Um, the reason I kind of... So I heard that hidden fun stuff actually... That's, what, that's kind of what we call spoiler for, for spoiler reasons, the hell and underworld stuff. Um, <coughs> usually when you open... Oh, excuse me, this... Freaking allergies. I can't... I shouldn't be talking for this long. Um, it usually causes a lot of lag as the demons try to, like, path into your fort. But I guess since all but four of them are dead... Um, <coughs> how messed up are they, by the way? 30. Throat is dented. Unfortunately, it's incredibly muscular. Um, it's freaking swole demons. Yeah, the, 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 the frame rates improved, so I think I'm just gonna train a bunch of new dudes and go slaughter these things' families. And the cool thing is, you can, if you burrow your way down into hell, you can basically make a fort here in hell, and the remaining demons are not remotely as dangerous as the first set of demons. <coughs> I'm not sure how the hell I'm gonna dig down there, because this tube. Like, I barely managed to make it into this tube. There were multiple lava accidents, and nobody died until I opened it, anyway. But, um... <coughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna, like, dig staircases down all of this. Can I just... Can I designate? Like a staircase? Is this all lava? I think if I... I think I can dig staircases through most of this. But I don't want to do that right now, because... Yeah, I... This actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Just everyone died, but still better than expected. Because um, they can't get through that drawbridge. Um, I... In fact, let me... Let me... Um, um, uh, let me name this... Just, yeah. Name that lever, just no. So if they ever pull this lever, this drawbridge opens, and they can get in the fort, and we all die. Fortunately, there's not much in this stockpile. They can just have this stockpile. But uh, the cool thing is, if I eventually kill all of those things, I can get all of this sweet adventine, and then I can dig all the way into hell, and I can have a cake party with these... these What are these? This is what I was talking about. These, these just wander around. It's an enormous shell and a bloated body. Good for him! And they just kind of dick around and fly and just do stuff, I guess. And eventually we could make a second fort down here. And we would need some, like, military presence and stuff, but... I kind of want to do that now. <laughs> all in all, this went pretty well. This went pretty well. 
Why is it covered in like grayness? <laughs> his upper spine is fractured, his throat is dented, lower body dented, rear foot cut open. Beware its poisonous bite. Oh man. I I'm I'm pretty eager to train my duders. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna Smashy Boys back in business. Peasant? Wait, Smashy Boys or Axemen? Why are Smash I guess I didn't rename them. But I, I think Oh, the mayor's a legendary axe dwarf, and he's still alive. But you know what, Mr. Mayor? You have just been upgraded to um, to the head of this thing. <laughs> Mr. Lie Maker. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fill this all up. Well, I probably shouldn't kill the king, or should I? Yeah, we're just gonna train and. <laughs> Imagine you get drafted into the Dwarven military. It's like, hey, um, remember the, the 50 people that, that died last week? Yeah, we're going to train you so you can go kill those things. That, that, what killed all of them. <laughs> Diorite door destroyed by the Aklasoride fiend. <laughs> I like how this is all that really shows up in the announcements. This, this, this guy became a mayor. This is all that it announced. What, what is this? this? Screw this stupid render fat job. How do I kill this? Get rid of that. Ugh. But we got a nice... Look at all these beautiful plants. All these dwarves don't even know that all of their friends are dead. Oh my god, I'm gonna need to engrave so many slabs. If you don't, like, give proper respects to the dead, they get, like, angry. And... <laughs> it's gonna suck. But if I can survive the, ta the surely incoming transform spile... Spiral. I might be able to colonize hell. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be cool. All right. That 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 took a little bit longer than I thought it would. But I mean, I just invaded hell, so I guess it's okay for that to take a while. But yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. As soon as my allergies like clear up, I do want to stream a thing where I explain like setting up your dwarf fortress and stuff. <coughs> I I too was like, oh, this game's impossible to figure out. It's it's really not that bad. Um, and you get to do stuff like I just did and watch all of your friends die as you invade hell, so it's pretty cool. And you get to make green glass windows like I've got here. Look at all of these windows. They're fine. They're enhanced. They got, like, stuff on them. Like, let's look at this thing, shall we? Uh, <coughs> this is a superior quality green glass window. It is studded with exceptionally worked lead. On the item, an exceptionally designed image of Domus Banner Tails, the dwarf, and an ogress in copper by Asab Kerjogobble. The ogress is striking down. <laughs> they love embroidering all of their, like, stuff with tales of their friends dying. It's kind of neat because it serves as, like, history. So you can remember, like, hey, remember that time half the fort died because God told us to dig into the Admantine Gusher, which make every made everybody die? Yeah, I made an image of it on my cup. So every time I drink from my cup, I remember the brutal death of 60 of my best friends. You know? Just, just, dwar hashtag just dwarf things. Did they save this chicken, by the way? Thank God. They saved, the wall chicken has been saved. So, you know, 65 of my friends died, but wall chicken is safe. I think that's a good point to call it quits. We, the important people survived. Chickens are people too. <laughs>